So today I am doing a PC build outside. Very fun. Now I don't usually build computers outside, but I figured I'd give this a shot, try something a little different. And yeah, I mean, hopefully nothing bad happens. So let's begin. So we're gonna start with the motherboard. This is one of the smallest micro ATX motherboards I've ever seen. It's like insane time, let me show you. This is like borderline ITX. If this bottom part were not here, if this extra expansion slot were not here, it'd be an ITX board, but it will do the job. So we're gonna start by installing the processor. It is really weird building like this. I have to look through the viewfinder basically to see what I'm doing. So if, I, if my movements look a little disconnected from what I'm doing, that, that's that's probably why. Just slide that in place and latch that boy down. Boom, CPU installed. Next we have the RAM, and despite what the packaging says, it's not 3200 megahertz, it's 3000, but it's whatever. It is some pretty nice looking RAM regardless, and got a nice deal on it. Quite excited to have RGB in this build, like RGB RAM, because you don't usually see RGB RAM in these real budget builds. Click, 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 click. Let's get this bracket out. Oh no, don't go, no. Well, it's gone. <laughs> That's the only thing about building computers outside is you have to worry about the wind. Hopefully the wind doesn't mess up the audio. The stuff I haven't opened before, I just had to open them to verify their condition because, you know, use stuff but that's why some stuff is kind of out of place like this you can clearly tell i shoved this crap in here now if, if the sun decides to just change its direction it's because i am I am uh, doing this right as sunset is happening, or around that, in about an hour, so. It, it, uh, yeah. Hopefully I can complete this build before the sun decides to set completely. Gotta remove this fan to screw the screw in. Got thermal paste. Now, I don't know how you guys do this. I know everybody does this differently, so let me know how you guys do this. I just do a big old dot right in the middle. I gotta make sure I actually am able to do this right. Yeah, big old dot. I know there are technically more optimal ways to do it, but it's we're talking like two celsius difference so you know just do however you want you can make a smiley face it, you know, make it fun i don't care i do a borneo dot i'm going to use the instruction booklet to make this off There we go. And just plug that in right here. Boom. I haven't even opened the case yet, so I, I don't think I even have a knife on me, so I'm gonna use one of these screwdrivers. Just just tear it open. Just rah.
pictures on Amazon made this case look really nice, so hopefully it turns out good. It's clean, I like it. I'm not gonna peel this until the whole PC is built, so I'm not doing that right now, you damn bastards. Something I do like about this, I wonder if I can even do this without peeling this. Are, you gonna, are they gonna make me peel this? I'm not peeling this. Oh, come on. If you see, there's a little hinge here I'm trying to open, but it's like, they're trying to make me peel this. I don't wanna peel this. Aha, uh -huh, I see. And then it should just, see, that's cool. That's genuinely a nice, oh my God. Stop. A nice quality of life feature. It just kind of goes all the way, doesn't it? Okay. Got ourselves the top mesh, I'm assuming. Yep, and a little booklet. Stay on there. Thumb screws. Gonna get these. I really got it. The thing about building computers is like, there's so many screws and it's so easy to lose track of them. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put them in this box right now. Go. Oh, wow. They actually like pre-cable manage it for you. That's really nice. Here's what I wanted right here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're zip tied. All right. Freaking bread tied. Some zip ties, a speaker, and the case screws. So we are actually going, oh. Well, this comes off really nice and easy. That's actually nice. Wow. So I'm just trying to peel this back a little bit. Ugh, ugh, I hate this. <laughs> okay. So my concern, when I put this down, can you, are you able to take this off? Oh, that's nice. Put in the IL shield. All right, IL shield is installed. I'm gonna plop the motherboard in. Like so. Screws. Looking good so far. Oh, I forgot the power supply in the house. Crap. <laughs> power supply. And this is the annoying part where I, I don't want to record it. I don't want to have to deal with this freaking phone in my face while I do the cable management. So I might cut away if, if it gets too tedious. Power supply screwed it in. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna do a quick cutaway, and I, I'm going to continue cable managing everything. Two hours later. So about that not taking long. Turns out this power supply had an ungodly amount of cables, and uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I had to freaking really cram them in there. Now I I just realized I forgot to install the SSD before I put the motherboard in but that's not a big deal i'll put it in later it's not really a big part of the build oh my god this is infuriating and it's so freaking cold out here is that in oh, i think it's in <laughs> my fingies <laughs> my fingers gosh look at that <laughs> why is it why is it bent like that bro low-key i might have to take this inside and just just do it in there, because it's, it's too freaking cold out here. I'm sorry, I let you guys down, I'm sorry. No, I did end up having to take it inside and do everything inside, because it just got way too cold to 
possibly do anything with my hands. But I think I did the best I could with the Kale Imagine. It's not the best, but I, I tried, okay? Stay tuned for a video on this on Friday. Hopefully, I can make it on time. We'll see. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video and tune in next time. Thank you for watching. 